Hello everybody, this is Brandy and welcome back to Astro Tarot Research. Today I'm doing like a quick fun reading like who is obsessed with you. And I have my birthday coming up this week so I'm really excited and I just want to do more tarot readings. I'm like, oh my god, I want to get back into reading more tarot cards and stuff. That's not important, I just had to mention that. <laughs> but um, yeah. So this is just going to be a fun quick reading who's thinking about you, who's got their eye on you, who can't stop thinking about you. Maybe they want to get to know you better. Maybe it's more of a friendship thing. Maybe it's more a romantic thing. We're going to see here what the cards have for you. So we have five cards. We have the pink purple card as number one, the gold card, gold card, gold egg as number two, the blue egg as number three, the purple egg as number four, and the green egg as number five. So take time, reflect, and pick what card is right for you. And also don't mind my nails. I'm trying to get them off. They're going to be a little bit uh, janky. <laughs> <laughs> and also remember this is for entertainment purposes only and if none of these cards resonate for you it is possible I am not the reader for you or maybe this video may not be intended for you all right so let's get started okay pile number one we have the ten of swords the seven of wands and the queen of swords all right See if we can get that clear picture of that. We don't want this thing to be blurry. Okay, so it seems like whoever is thinking of you, let me put this egg right here. <laughs> whoever is thinking of you is someone who may have been very hurt by you. Someone who feels like your actions towards them or your words towards them just hurt like a knife and they just can't get those words or whatever you did out of their head. Maybe you put this person in their place, which sounds like it may be the case with the Seven of Wands. It looks like this person may have been acting out in a way that was just not beneficial to anyone. Or maybe they were in this dark, moody place and you came through and said, hey, you need to get out of it. And you gave them some words of wisdom or clarity and they were just like, wow, I can't believe they would say that to me. But it it seems like from these two cards here that your intentions were not malicious because the seven of wands is just defending what is theirs and the queen of wands doesn't go out of her way to belittle others look down upon others or waste their time with gossip and malicious and silly things they come from a, this queen of swords here comes from a place of respect so it looks like whoever's obsessed with you is more obsessed with something you said to upset them or rattle them a bit, maybe shake them out of their comfort zone, probably give them a different perspective. Um, it probably made them feel defensive um, and very hurt. It just looks like this person just doesn't... <laughs> I don't think this person wants to believe that they're in the wrong. I want to pull like another card for this. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, okay, so we got the, the Wheel of Fortune, which is like a turning point. So this is about someone, you saying something to someone, which may have caused them, about their behavior, which may have caused them to rethink things. Because the Wheel of Fortune is looking at things from all angles, and not only that, it's about a change. So it's about them needing to change their behavior, or them seeing you in a different light, or seeing the situation that they're in this dark, whatever, gloomy situation that they're in in a different light. So that person is just thinking about what you've said, what you've done for them, and putting it into perspective. And they just, it, their thoughts are going round and round in their head. They can't stop thinking about it and, and you. So they're obsessed with you in that sort of way. All right. So um, if that resonates with you, feel free to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment below, let me know. And thank you for watching. Hopefully you're here for the next video. Okay, pal number two, for those of you who chose the, the golden egg over here, we've got the Emperor, the Page of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. So we've got two people, maybe possibly two people who are obsessed with you, kind of thinking about you, and it might be people because the Three of Coins is 
usually something work related. I mean, it usually works usually means working with a group of people and the fact that we have two different people the emperor and the page tells me you have two people who are work work related and obsessed with you in that way so the emperor is someone who could be like an authority figure to you it could be like a boss it could be um i'm sorry that glare is like bothering me i really need to do something about it but there's really nothing that can be done for the time being um it could be like a boss it could be someone who just has some sort of say overhead say maybe this is like a group leader depending on what type of work you do maybe this is a supervisor um or it could be like <laughs> a concerned parent or uncle or something like that but this is definitely i'm getting like more of a male energy from this card um and the page of wands page of wands sorry the page of swords is also like a young person Someone who's very talkative and someone may not know who when to shut up, <laughs> to be honest. They've always got something to say, something on their mind. And they're both kind of just, I think they're trying to figure out a way to work with you. But you definitely have more than one person who's obsessed with you. Let's see in what way they're obsessed with you. It could be romantically. Let's see. Wow. Okay. We have the tower. And the seven of cups see if we can get that closer get that light in the tower and the seven of cups so wow you've done <laughs> this the thing about the tower is it's like something that just brings a revelation into mind something so shocking that it kind of just completely catches you off guard and the seven of cups is about this like fantasy dream world um living in your own head confusion confusion so this could be one of two ways. It could be like you've done something drastic in like your appearance for some reason, which is what I'm getting because the tower plus the, the cups, it's like, this is like, whoa, this person looks shockingly amazing. Like they look like the, they're giving me full fantasy. <laughs> like, uh, mm -hmm. like this person's coming with it like lately or usually all, I wouldn't say lately because the tower is like, I wouldn't say always because the tower is like a moment. It's just like, bam, and it's there. So they're like, whoa, this person's really switched up lately and they look great. Or this is like, this person is not paying attention at work. So they could think, wow, this person is really in their head. They're not paying attention at work and it's causing a lot of problems. So it's either one of the two things. I mean, obviously this is a general reading, so I can't channel every specific thing for everyone. <laughs> But whoever pile number two is has two people who are thinking about them and they are just in awe <laughs> of the, your mindset, I want to say. They are just in awe of how you approach your work or how you approach your interactions with them. They may find you like extremely blunt and that's causing them to be like, what is this person doing? Like, what is this person saying? Like, I, I'm like, I'm so curious as to how this person is thinking. Something about me tells like, like they they're very curious to like get inside your head. Like, that's the whole feeling I'm getting for this card. And I would definitely say some of it is romantic with the Seven of Cups here. Um, I think you've just like intrigued them like you've done something lately to just like catch their attention and this person is just like can't stop thinking about that and you in that way i don't know if you work with this person or not but are these people uh but that's the whole feeling i'm getting for this card and this pile and if that resonates with you please leave a like below and subscribe and thank you for watching my channel okay number three blue egg blue egg here let's see what cards you got all right so we've got the five of wands the empress and the pinnacles so right off the bat what i'm getting from this is you are also similar to pile number two where you have more than one person who is obsessed with you i don't know <laughs> what it is because you're like this empress card in the middle whether you're a man or female but for some reason you just embody like this strong um either feminine energy or, or very like gentle energy 
you're looking good, you're smelling good, you're like fresh to death, whatever people say. <laughs> fresh to death, so embarrassing. Anyway, <laughs> you, you just, you're on point, you're on 10. And you got all these suitors, so it's like the five of wands, all these suitors are fighting for your attention. So you have multiple people, this is definitely 100% romantic. These people want to offer you something, they want to impress you, they want to show you their sort of skill level. Um, because you are the Empress right here and it just kind of reminds me of like, don't you know those like how you have those Roman Empire shows and you have like the Emperor and the Empress like watching the people below compete in like the games and stuff like um, Gladiator and stuff. I have a feeling that these people that who are like obsessed with you are not in the same position. I don't know if you supervise anyone if you're someone else's boss or if you watch over a group of people in some way I'm not sure or maybe these people are just um a different vibe than you completely because I mean this is like rough and tough and this is like all refined and glamour and you know uh high class etc or whatever but the, whoever it is they're just in a different situation than you, I would say, either class-wise or um, who they spend their time with. Like, you, you guys don't spend time with even remotely similar people. So you have a bunch of people fighting for your attention romantically. They're trying to get to know you better. Um, and they want to create something stable with you. Let's clarify with one more card here. Yes, that's exactly it. So you got the fighting for the victor. So <laughs> they want to, they're like, okay, I'm trying to impress whoever this is. I want her to notice me. I want this person to, I want to come out on top and I want to provide her with, or him with stability, um, loyalty. Like they just want to give you something new something you've never experienced before they just they just really want to impress you that's all I'm, that's what i'm getting from this so whoever's fighting for your attention it's just a bunch of people like just multiple people like <laughs> maybe even strangers you just pass by on the street because we do have the chariot here which implies like car and travel so just like everyday people or or <laughs> that you may interact with frequently because we do have this um, pinnacle here which is about routine so it's certain people that you see you may not think much of but they're definitely trying to gather and get your attention so just kind of like people you see you walk passing by like frequently it's people you work with people you interact with you'd be like oh I go to this gas station all the time and like and you may think nothing of it and of the cashier or whatever there but this person's like oh my god this person's like amazing this person's handsome beautiful etc and I I want to get to know this person so that's the impression I'm getting for pile number three. If this resonates with you, feel free to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Okay, pile number four. Uh, let's get to it. See what you got. Who's obsessed with you? Ooh, okay. We have the king of cups. We have the ten of pentacles. And we have the four of cups. So whoever is obsessed with you is somebody you do not notice in any way like <laughs> this person is someone who's obviously very emotionally mature i believe this person may be older than you this person is very giving very generous um they have it looks like they have a lot of money if not a lot of stability like they're in a place in their life where they are very independent they're they're looking to start a family or maybe they already have a family i'm not sure um, but this person is like looking straight at you. Like you see this car, she's looking straight ahead at the four of cups right here. That's you. And you're just like, mm, there's really nothing around. Like you're bored. Like there's nothing that's got getting your attention. Like no one around you is like really impressing you in the way, or maybe this person specifically is not impressing you. So whoever this person who's obsessed with you, you're not really giving them the time or day of day like you're just like okay well so what <laughs> they're there i guess but yeah this person's um 
someone who has a good job and a nice home oh my god yeah see who got the king of coins come up <laughs> to clarify yeah this is someone who is just definitely an older individual someone who's in a good place in their life and for some reason i'm just like looking at the gray on this beard so this person i don't know i, I never really think about appearances but this person definitely has some gray hairs they may have some gray hairs on their chin and they definitely have a beard without a doubt so just someone just they're just in a stable position in their life and i think let me pull one more card let's just clarify that yeah i think they might be married i just get that feeling because we got the king of cups and the queen of cups so whoever this person is i i really believe that they have a family already um but you look good to them <laughs> obviously but uh i don't know let me see pull one more card i gotta pull one card to this deck yeah you're completely blind to them like you don't notice them in the slightest whoever this person is from afar they just have like this uh they got the they got the hots for you i don't know how else to put it it's a it's older person already have a family good job um that with benefits and etc but um you intrigue them i'm gonna pull one more card to see what about you kind of like gets them okay we got the four of wands i had to pull more cards for this deck so you just come off like someone who is complete in themselves like in their own world like you find like your own inner peace like you're not really too concerned with um i guess adhering to social i wouldn't say social norms but social interactions i'm not saying you're anti-social or anything like that but th they know you're con they, you look like you're content within yourself that's what it looks like like you just that's the reason that they're drawn to you they're in and thinking about you that way they're like wow this person just looks so happy and thrilled and like they just look like they're having the best time like they don't or they don't have a care in the world like that that is why they are like just they can't stop thinking about you in that way but i think to them to you you mean you just don't know you're just like who who's that like <laughs> for you this is probably like someone like at staples or something like like, like who works at staples and sees you buying stuff and are you're at your local grocery store the cashier or something like you just don't notice them in the slightest but um yeah, that's all I'm getting for pile number four. I hope this resonates. If not, then let me know. Let me know. Um, and um, that's all. I guess if you like it, please um, give a like and uh, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, pile number five. Let's get started. Green hag over here. Keep this reading simple. I had to pull a lot for number four, but... Who's obsessed with you? All right, so, you know, it's interesting because I was just thinking, will I get someone who's like in a relationship or, or anything? But um, I don't know if you're in a relationship or not, but whoever is obsessed with you, this light is gonna drive me crazy. Whoever is obsessed with you, maybe someone you're dating already, if not dating already, someone who is in a friendship with you or someone you at least know on an acquaintance level. Like this is someone you definitely, um, with the page of of um, coins here, the thing about pages is they're messengers. You definitely talk to this person frequently enough that, um, and the conversations, um, the thing about the page of coins, they tend to have longer conversations so the conversations are definitely not short-lived. So who is ever obsessed with you is somebody you already know, possibly someone you spend a good amount of time with because we have the strength card here, which is about enduring. I remember like every, like not remember. I remember one time I got the strength card and I was just like, how is like today at work gonna be? 
and it was like the longest day I think I did like a 12 hour shift or something like crazy 12 or 11 hours so this is someone you spend a good amount of time with this person thinks you're fun they think you're cute they think you're um, lively they think you're dependable um, they also think that you're just someone who is just stable gives good advice you're not coming from a, a negative place like they think you care about your appearance and you try to put effort into it and they really like that um, and they think you two get along great or at least they think at least and they think you would get along great if they for some reason they don't know you or I, which I don't get the impression from this card um, they definitely um, feel like they would get along great with you yeah this person is very controlled with their emotions like they're keeping that stuff hidden like you're not going to be able to see what they're thinking and feeling this is the moon card by the way but um that is just, they have a they have very strong feelings towards you like they're just like i really like this person um i definitely think this is more romantic like i don't think i'm not getting a friendship vibe at all yeah okay ace of cups that's what i thought <laughs> This person has strong romantic feelings towards you. Like this person likes you and they, they want to date you and they want to get to know you better. Like they want to start. I don't know if you guys are already dating or if you're in the beginning stages of dating, um, which would imply that with, you know, the ace of cups and the two of cups, like these are very like beginning type of energy, new love, kind of puppy love. Um, they, but they, they have that spark. They have a little crush on you. And so they're thinking about you a lot, like, especially at night, they can't stop. They're like, oh my God, I wonder what this person's doing. I wonder how they're feeling. I wonder what they think of me, like, et cetera. Um, whoever this is, is someone who, I want to see what you think. Yeah, you just feel like, you like them, I don't, I don't know if you like them too, but I mean, like, you like them as a person too. That's what I'm getting. You at least think they're just a very caring person person they may even feel like family to you they may, so you may not see them in the same light but um it could be like you, they feel like family to you or you could see how you two would be compatible enough to maybe possibly in the future have a family together um and like that you might think you two really get along great like you guys have this strong emotional bond um or your personalities mesh well enough together that you believe that this could go long term or you could you could know this person for a while this person could be in your life for a while that's what you that's how you kind of feel towards this person because you definitely know this person whoever's obsessed with you and um let's pull one more card yes that's exactly what i thought the world the world card so yeah you think this this could definitely last a long time like if you two got together i think that this could be a very powerful and very long lasting union that's the vibe i'm getting from this card it's not like a weird obsessed they're just they just they really like you they just they just have a crush on you so um yeah that's everything that i'm getting that is all for today just very short very sweet if you like the video um, please like it. <laughs> That's funny. And um, feel free to subscribe and give feedback and let me know what you think. I definitely want to know if this resonates or doesn't resonate with you. I'm always looking to improve. And so thank you very much for watching my channel. And I will see you next video. Uh, goodbye.